hello everyone, welcome back. Well, what are we gonna tell Caleb Maas, who's basically just intercepted trying to get our father's equipment? Are we gonna try and uh, tell him I'm gonna kill you? Why did you kill my dad? Guess we're gonna get him ah, yes. Rather unfortunate, that. I had the great misfortune of being a creditor to that shiftless layabout. Your father owed me a debt, and he wouldn't pay. His life was meager compensation for my investment. Oh, really? Any last words? And this is the last thing we can tell him, so let's find out who this guy I'm is. Caleb Mars, ah. An old, uh, shall we say, associate of your father's, and next in line to the chair of the Mars Corporation. Really? This conversation bores me. You cannot imagine how unpleasant it is for me to have to talk to people who actually work for a living. But I'm sure you will be happy to pay off your father's debt as an indentured worker. Take him down, man. Uh oh. Well, I guess Cal's in a bit of trouble right now. And there's the Navy. Uh, what do we have here, then, huh? A troublemaker. Was this vessel causing you trouble, Mr. Mars, sir? Yes. I was minding my own business when this hooligan set upon me and my friends. I see. Well, we'll make sure he can't cause any trouble from here. Come on. You're coming to the station with us. You won't hear from this dangerous character ever again, Mr. Mars. He'll be tried as an adult. Which means he won't see the stars again if he lives a hundred years. He'll be tried as an adult. Wow. Just wow. Is he allowed to make that call? Goodness me. What has our species come to? Oh. Movie time. Let's get out of here. Hurry it up, will ya? I don't want to leave here in no metal box. Shut it. This isn't easy, you know. Here goes. Ah, shh. Smith? Look, do you know how to hot wire this thing? Don't get any worse. Ah! Stupid piece of crap! What's wrong with this thing? Got it. 
Let's just get out of here, shall we? We can't just hide in this trash can and wait until the cops and marshals get bored. We need a safe haven. Ideally, someplace with showers. Jaffs is starting to reek. Laurie, the trouble with you poor little rich girls is that you never smelled a real man before. But I can change all that. And since you're offering a shower... That's it. This slob is going out the airlock. Hey, settle down. I know a place where we'll be safe, off the beaten track, where my grandmother Lucretia used to live. It's got all the protection you could want. And showers. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Oi, Cal, we got company. Yes, we do. Well, what do we have here? Escaped criminals? You just made your last mistake. No, I beg to differ. Okay. So, this is obviously not the Storm Petrol. This would be the Tug. Which is not the best ship in the world by far, but it's well, better than a spacesuit, I guess. Come on, destroyed already. Air over, and that, and that. Nope. Stuck using these PPCs. This is not going ne nearly fast enough. Let's see if we can get behind them. There we go. Ah, much better. Ah, there we go. Proper energy setting. It helps! That ain't good. They just dropped a distress beacon. This area will be crawling with cops. We'd better get ready for a major firefight. Wait a tick. Morris. Yeah, Morris. Old lock-up buddy of mine got out for good behavior about two years back. Dug up his loot and bought a place. <laughs> Been quite the respectable gent ever since. Do you have a point, Smith? The point is that Morris's place happens to be a service depot near Hoffer's Gap. The point is that he'll have the systems I need to stop this damn IFF beacon from blabbing that this is a stolen transport. The point is that Morris still owes me some big fat favors. That's the bloody point. Good point. Wait, Hoffer's Gap? It'll be crawling with pigs. You got a better plan? Besides, Callum make sure we don't get too close, right? Whatever we do, we better do it quick. So where exactly is this former cellmate of yours? He's close to Hoffers. He should be on your contact list any second. Yes, please. Thank you. There we go. He is close. All right. Let's just hope that no one's waiting there for me. Ah, good. The engines is goodness grief, this thing moves like Ah oh, there it, it is. That's a problem. Doesn't look like <laughs> a bad little joint. Once we talk I can hack this IFF good and proper, rip out its guts and put in a shiny new identity. As I was saying, Tug, not that agile. Smith, yo, dog! What are you doing around here? 
Just passing through on holiday. Thought I'd pop in and see how me best mate is doing. You know, say hello, take a leak, use your systems to hack me IFF. The usual. <laughs> Same old Smith. In trouble again, eh? Well, help yourself. But don't expect great hacking tools. I'm clean now. You're right about these tools. I don't have a lot of options here. But that should do it. Let's get going in. Thanks, Morris. Well, that was quick. Cal, I've set a waypoint to your grandma's, listed as Lucretia's base. Aptly named, Mr. Smith. All right. Let's get out of this inhibitor field and LDSS, LDS, whatever. Off we go. We are so dead. Hold your position and we'll fire. Yeah, okay. Holding, holding. Where are you? Hmm. Hmm? Attention, vessel Mona Lisa. According to our records, your vessel is registered as a pleasure transport working in the Eureka system. A bit off target? Uh, uh, we're taking a special tour of the Afrit. I've heard it looks amazing at this time of the year. I see. And just why is your vessel called Mona Lisa? Ah, it's my favorite classical masterpiece. Seems like right. a good reason. So, why are you using a tug as a pleasure transport? Don't remind me. I wrecked my custom Corvette, and Daddy says I have to use this old thing until they finish customizing my new one. All right. I'll let you off, but stay out of trouble. Smooth talker. Nice. All right. I uh, know that there's. Yeah, I think. I think there's a way to engage them, but really no point to it. And this ship is not exactly a, in f a fighting condition. Home sweet home, Lucretia's base. Joyous occasion. Let's just hope it's still there. Something about, m I recall, well, meteor shielding. I mean, it was important enough for us to uh, go out and get a feather, and we got caught. Ah, uh, looks like it's still in one piece. There it is. Our new home. Oh! So your grandma preferred blast shielding to white picket fences, huh? Cal, that's a fortress! No kidding. Uh, did, did I forget to mention that my grandmother was a pirate? I guess he didn't mention that for 15 years. Well, I guess he knows how to keep a secret. Hey, anyone home? Hey Clay, it's me, Cal. I'm home. Clay, you here? Course I'm here. Fifteen years and you come back with nothing more than a hi honey, I'm home. Where the hell have you been? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a long story. Long story? I'll give you a long story, kid. How about me sat here fifteen years with nothing but a coffee machine for company? Gee. You go off on a simple job and bang, not a peep for 15 years. And who are these jokers? Sorry, Clay, but I had a run-in with Caleb Moss back at Dad's place. I got myself caught and banged up in the local penitentiary. These are my buddies. We've just escaped, and here I am. All right. Well, I guess you guys better make yourselves at home. I'll be gobsmacked. Look at this place. Your granny put together a tasty pad here. We got everything I could ask for. Full Starship repair facilities, machine shop, the works. 
I've already had a play with that tin can we flew in on. I've removed the old command section and replaced it with one your granny left lying around the hangar. You'll have much tighter control over the avionics now. Oh, thank you, Smith. Thank you. Reckon thank it'll you. fly like a dream now. Could mm. do with a full weapon systems overall, though, but there just ain't the parts lying around at the moment. Guess you better take her out and liberate some. Oh, the only thing she needs now is a name. How about it, Cal? Alrighty then. What shall we name it? Lamb chop? Last time I picked a black pig. Smith wasn't too enthusiastic about that. Lamb chop. Hmm. That sounds funny, actually. Yeah. Lamb chop. How about that? <laughs> Lamb chop. What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> You'll think all the names well, are stupid. you ask me, and I like lamb chop. <laughs> I don't You're off your like trolley. <laughs> okay, lamb chop it is then. <laughs> well, we got ourselves a hideout and a couple of ships. Now what? Hide here till the police get bored of us or we die of old age? Jeez, calm down, girl. Neither. I intend to follow in my grandmother's footsteps. Now, who's with me? Ha! <laughs> A pirate's life for me. There's plenty of juicy corporate shipping out there, ripe for the picking, and I know a few old friends who'll sell anything we can bring in. Cool. I'm in. Maybe we'll even be able to scuttle some of my family's ships. I'd love to pay him back for kicking me into the Badlands with nothing but rogues and villains. Oh? Speaking as one of those rogues and villains, I say we need to be cautious about this. Piracy is a capital offense. Not a tea party for revenge-seeking debutantes. As is right, I'd like to plunder some fat merchant ships, but let's remember one thing. Your grandma ran a fleet of top-of-the-line vessels. We've got nothing but an old tug and a pile of spare parts. You two have a point, but we don't have a lot of options. If we start small and stay within our limits, we can build up our resources until we have a jump drive. If you've got a better idea for getting that kind of cash, I'm open to suggestions. Nah, you're right, kid. We've got the talent, we've got the tools, and we sure as hell got plenty of grudges to repay. Let's do it. Hey, Cal, I got a brainwave. You know that search and recovery vehicle in Thry Dock? Smith says he can convert it to carry cargo pods. That means that when you liberate loot and stuff, I can pick it up and bring it back to the base. Great idea, huh? Liberate loot. Well, <laughs> you pick it up? Why not? Besides, among my many talents, I'm a qualified snarfy pilot. After all, why should you get all the space pirate glory? Yeah, Smith can modify the UCP scanner on your command section so you can tag cargo parts when they're sub-targeted. You should be able to put a direct link on your command menu too to call Jaffs in for pickup. Okay, thank you for all shutting up now. Alright. Quick save. Welcome to Act 1, people. Cal's all grown up and has got himself a pirating crew. Oh, we have ourselves a pirating crew. Um, but we can't really do anything yet. Um,. We do have some equipment, not much, and most of it just sucks. You can make your own equipment by um, recycling materials and then using the points you get from that manufacturing units, they're called, and you can make stuff like missiles and some other interesting things. Um, those were the screens we skipped so far. There's, well, as you can see, there's not that much to click on or look at, but, you know, you can quickly read up on what something actually does and well I'm afraid that's all for now I'll um, I'm gonna end the video here and next time we're gonna do some piracy yeah looking forward to that hope you are too and goodbye for now